Energy Past and Present by Ashley Chase, illustrated by Benjamin Shipler, Shipper. Read by Miss Tuxhorn to her wonderful students. Here we have the table of contents, and each of these topics are what is covered in this book. And remember at the end, if there's any bolded words that you're unsure about, you can look in the glossary. Devices for everything. Every day, we use electrical energy to run so many devi different devices. Phones, lights, computers, televisions, stoves, music players, dryers, and more. These devices all convert electrical energy into other forms of energy, such as light energy, sound energy, motion energy, and thermal energy. Life before electrical devices. Imagine a time before electrical devices were invented. What was everyday life like in the past without those devices? How did people do all the things we use electrical energy for today? Keeping cool today. People tend to use more electrical energy on hot days than on cold days. To keep cool when it's hot, people run electric fans and air conditioners. These devices use lots of electrical energy. Here's how an electric fan works. Wires transfer electrical energy from a power plant to the fan in your house. The fan converts electrical energy into motion energy of the spinning blades. The spinning blades of the fan transfer motion energy to the air, creating a breeze that cools your skin. Keeping cool in ancient Egypt. Kings and queens in ancient, ancient Egypt also used fans to stay cool. However, those fans weren't electric. To create a cool breeze, a servant moved a feather fan up and down. Motion energy was transferred from the servant's arms to the fan, and from the fan to the air. Unfortunately, the fan's breeze only cooled the king or queen. The servant stayed hot. Lamps today. Electrical lights, or lamps, are probably one of the first things you imagine when you think of electrical devices. How do they work? Wires transfer electrical energy from a power plant to the lamp in your house. When you turn the switch, the lamp converts electrical energy into light energy, plus some thermal energy. We use light bulbs because we want light to see with, not heat. So lights that give off a lot of thermal energy waste a lot of energy. Many people are choosing to use more efficient light bulbs, such as LED light bulbs. These are more efficient because they convert more of the electrical energy to light energy and just a little to thermal energy. Lamps in Ancient Jerusalem In ancient Jerusalem, energy stored in fuel was converted directly into light. People filled small clay lamps with olive oil. You might not think of olive oil as fuel, but anything that burns can be used as fuel. There are lots of olive trees in ancient Jerusalem. People picked the olives, pressed them to squeeze out the oil, and used the oil for fuel. Burning the olive oil in a lamp converted and stored energy into light energy, plus some thermal energy. Hot baths today. Where do you get hot water to take a bath? If you have an electric water heater, here's how it works. Wires transfer electrical energy from a power plant to the water heater in your house. The water heater converts electrical energy into thermal energy. The thermal energy makes the water inside the tank hot. Hot water from the tank flows through the pipes to fill up your bathtub so you can take a bath. Hot baths in ancient Rome. Hot baths work differently in ancient Rome. Logs of wood burned under a tank of water. The wood has chemical energy stored in it. Burning the wood converted the stored chemical energy into thermal energy. 
as well as some light energy. The thermal energy made the water inside the tank hot. Hot water from the tank filled a big pool where Romans came to take baths. Traveling across town today. If you live in a city, you may use a streetcar or subway to get across town. Both streetcars and subways use electrical energy. Here's how an electric streetcar works. The train has a part at the top that connects wires running over the street. These wires transfer electrical energy from the power plant to the train. The train's engine converts electrical energy into motion energy, moving the train's wheels and carrying you across town. Traveling across town in ancient Mexico. The Aztecs built a capital city about 700 years ago, in the spot where Mexico City is today. This great Aztec city was built on an island in the middle of the lake. Waterways connected different parts of the city, so people paddled through the city in canoes. Motion energy was transferred to the paddler's arm to paddle, pushing the canoe through the water. Fire alarms today. You've probably had a fire drill before. You hear the alarm, then line up with your class to walk out of school. You're practicing what to do if the alarm ever rings for a real fire. Here's how a fire alarm works. Wires transfer electrical energy from a power plant to the fire alarm. When the alarm goes off, it converts electrical energy into sound energy. It makes a loud noise to warn people and let them know to leave the building. Fire alarms in ancient Japan. Fires were a big problem in ancient Japan where most of the buildings were made of wood. Firefighters would t take turns watching for smoke from the tops of towers. At the top of each tower was a bell. If the firefighter spotted a fire, he would sand the alarm by hitting the bell with the mallet. The mallet transferred motion energy to the bell. The bell converted motion energy into sound energy, making a loud noise that everybody in the town could hear. Cooking today. People cook using lots of different devices. Often, to heat something up quickly, we use a microwave oven. Like all other electrical devices in your home, a microwave oven is connected to wires that transfer electrical energy from a power plant to the microwave. The oven converts electrical energy into a type of invisible light energy called microwaves. The microwaves transfer energy directly to the food, where it is converted to thermal energy. Cooking in Ancient India In ancient India, people cooked meals and bread in an oven called a tandoor. A tandoor is a clay pot with tall sides. At the bottom of the tandoor, people burned fuel such as wood or charcoal. Burning the converted energy was that was stored in the fuel into thermal energy. The thermal energy was transferred to the air outside the oven, which became very hot. The hot temperatures transferred thermal energy to the food and the oven cooking it. Many people around the world still use this ancient method to cook traditional Indian food. Lessons from the past. In the ancient world, people didn't have electrical devices. They found other ways to do many of the things that we use devices for today. For example, instead of using an electric clothes dryer, people dried their clothes by hanging them outside in the sunlight. By looking carefully at the past, we may be able to learn ways to use electrical devices less. When we use too many devices at once, we risk running out of electrical energy to power them. Using fewer devices can help us make sure we have plenty of electrical energy when we need it. In the future, electrical devices will become more efficient. You could even design a more efficient version of an electrical device someday. Glossary Convert To change from one form to another Efficient Able to do a job without wasting a lot of energy Electrical device, a machine that converts electrical energy 
to another form of energy. Electrical energy, the form of energy that is transferred through wires. Energy, the ability to make things move or change. Form of energy, type or kind of energy. Light energy, the form of energy that you can see. Motion energy, the form of energy that moving things have. Sound energy, the form of energy that we can hear. Thermal energy, the form of energy that has to do with changing temperature. Transfer, to move something from one place to another.